We start with a tough story here that for the first time we're hearing from the family of a nine year old boy accused of intentionally setting a deadly home fire in Illinois. Kyle Allwood is charged with five counts of first degree murder. His mother allowed us to disclose his name and his picture. Five people died in the April fire, including some of Kyle's young relatives. Errol Barnett spoke exclusively with Kyle's mother. He's in Eureka, Illinois. Errol, what did she say? Well, Katie Alwood tells us prosecutors have gone too far in charging her son, and because of multiple death threats, he's now having to live with other relatives. But she also tells us he was recently diagnosed with a form of schizophrenia, ADHD, and bipolar disorder. But keep this in mind. Despite being distraught describing that horrific night to us, she says her son is a loving person who deserves a second chance. Everyone is looking at him like he's some kind of monster but that's not who he is. Katie Alwood fighting back tears as she speaks about her nine-year-old son, Kyle, charged this week with killing five people one night back in April by setting fire to the family home. People make mistakes, and that's what this is. Yes, it was a horrible tragedy, but it's still not something to throw his life away over. The victims are all members of the family. Katie's other children, Damien and Ariel, her grandmother, Catherine, her fiance, Jason Wall, and her niece, Rose. Katie was in the home when the fire broke out while most of the victims were sleeping, but was only able to save herself. I stood at the window and I told my kids I was sorry I couldn't save them. Mommy was right here and I loved them. You know, so at least hopefully they heard that. You know, I told Jason I love him, I'll always love him. And then I just, something told me that they're gone. So there was a moment where you could hear them screaming. Yeah. You could hear your fiance. Yeah. And then it ended. I don't know what's worse, hearing him scream or when it stopped. We walked with Katie through her sister, Samantha Alwood's home next door. Samantha was Rose's mother. <laughs> She got me out of bed. She made my days better. And it hurts her not being here. Unlike her sister, Samantha wants her nephew Kyle to face a strict punishment. I think he should go somewhere until he's legal age to go to juvie. Then I think he should go to juvie and then from juvie to prison. Because at the end of the day, whether he meant to or not, he knew what fire did. Constitutional law professor Gloria Brown Marshall says pinning a murder charge on a child is an abuse of power by the prosecutor. It's difficult to understand how a nine-year-old would have the state of mind to know that their action would result in a death. Katie Allwood says her son deserves to pay for his alleged actions, but says the family has already suffered enough. I did lose, you know, my family too, but I forgive him. I love him no matter what. Now, Katie said that Kyle had previously shown an interest in lighters and in fire, but she hopes that the judge takes into consideration his mental state as well as the person she says he is. Now, the local prosecutor here tells us that uh, they are defending the decision to file murder charges and that Kyle is only likely to face probation. That young boy will face a judge here at this courthouse on the 21st. Tony. Wow, Errol, that's a powerful interview, and you lay out the story so well. Uh, very disturbing. I mean, it's a really tough one. Yeah, and just a complete tragedy for that family all the way around. They'll never be the same. Yeah, and you can understand why the mother doesn't want to lose, a, a really, in effect, an additional child yes. by that, putting yes. that child away forever. Yep. All right, Errol, thank you very much.